computer engineer with an impressive expertise developed for quantum dock basin of toilet devices. He also is a co-founder of uh, Survision System. And uh, today he will be sharing with us his expert opinion of commercial high resolution quantum dock with amazing application on imaging marker. With that, I ask to give full attention of uh, Dr. Klim. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for that uh, kind introduction. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just kind of dive in. I've got a bunch of material to cover that we'll talk a little bit about um, the type of uh, cameras and image sensors we make here at Sphere Vision Systems, and uh, also show some of the uh, interesting applications that we're finding home for these cameras in. Uh, in in variety of uh, commercial, industrial, and, and scientific um, applications. So uh, let's see. Here we go. So just as I mentioned, uh, uh, just a quick summary. So uh, we, as a company, we I think our claim to fame here is that we've pioneered this development of a new kind of image sensor based on um, this colloidal quantum dot CQD. These are very small particles of semiconductor that I'll, I'll tell you a little more about in a few slides. Um, these sensors, these image sensors that we're making today deliver the highest resolution uh, with the lowest cost uh, for shortwave imaging applications. This enables our customers to see smaller features, identify more defects, and essentially um, in, in, in equipment on production lines for inspection applications, image, image parts at faster throughput speeds. So I believe we are the first company in the world to have introduced to the commercial market coil quantum dot image sensors um, and cameras. And uh, we're excited to uh, both show the, the performance of these cameras today. And at the end, if we have a little time, I'll show you some of the emerging results we have advancing and pushing the, the, the performance of these um, to, to higher, higher values of, um, of efficiency in particular. So just very briefly, what is shortwave infrared imaging? So the shortwave infrared spectrum, um, you know, where it, where it starts is kind of a matter of debate, somewhere around 900 nanometers to 1,000 nanometers, right, where silicon, uh, near-infrared sensors kind of start dropping off. It sits next to the visible spectral band, uh, so it's what's the short end of the infrared spectrum. And um, what... Uh, where do these, these sensors find use cases? Um, it's really in cases where the physics of those infrared, those shortwave IR photons provide additional information that you can't get with the visible photons. So for example, if you need to see through silicon for doing defect inspection, you can see right through it. If you need to look through many plastics are, are semi-transparent. Uh, laser beams, there's lots of infrared laser beams uh, used in a variety of industries and you need to image laser beams. Uh, moisture absorbs very strongly, so water appears black for a piece of the infrared spectrum where, that we can see. So uh, chemical composition, um, when you take things outside and you're doing long range imaging, you have uh, better atmospheric transmission through um, particulates like rain or uh, fog and, and dust and mist. Um, and so, um, you know, these kind of use cases find homes in, in semiconductor uh, manufacturing and electronics inspection, machine vision, photonics, um, defense as well, uh, transportation, agriculture. So a variety of, um, of markets are addressed and, and find use for these sensors, which is very exciting. So I'm actually going to just start by showing some examples of these images that we're getting with these cameras and where our customers are finding um, you know, utility for the for the kind of images that, that that we can produce with our cameras. So each of these cases, you see um, a, a visible light image that you would see with your eye or with a standard C C CMOS camera, and then you see the SWIR image that we get uh, of the same object with one of our cameras. So this is a case where you're looking through a silicon uh, die, and you're looking at alignment marks that are buried um, on on the other side or or either on the backside or buried within the, in the wafer itself. This is a case where you're looking at two wafers that have been bonded together and you can see very visibly where you've got bond uh, voids and defects in that bonding. Um, here's a neat example where you're using these cameras for looking at very hot. Uh, the shortwave IR is, is quite useful for, for very hot objects, objects above about 150 or 